Hey guys, this video lecture is all about writing views and mapping URLs to views. So open up the open up the text editor, Adam text editor, and uh, open up the views.py file inside the block directory. So a view function or a view is Python function that takes a web request and returns a web response. This response can be the HTML contents of a web page, or a redirect, or a 404 error or an XML document or an image. So let's write the first view for our blog application. Before that we have to import the HTTP response object so that the response can be processed or given to the web browser. From import, sorry, from django.http import HTTP response now let's create our first view which is or defining our first view which is the index view which takes a request parameter and return an HTTP response we have imported inside that we need to write a simple text or it can be the HTML uh, content itself so we will start with simple text here which is hello world this is our first view so our first view is created or very simple view has been created uh, now it's time to map this view to the URL uh, just go to the urls.py file before that we have to import the views itself which is under the blog directory blog import views and then we have to create uh, the URL itself for this view by writing the index here, which should start from index, which should start from index. Then map it with index view using views dot index, which is the next parameter of, uh, after the regular expression. Then we specify the name, which can be used. Uh, in the templates by calling the URL or the name itself for the particular URL so let's name it index we are good to go now now open the server or run the server by or from the terminal by writing python manage.py run server or just giving the error that we have imported the wrong HTTP response object or the spelling is wrong so open up the item text editor on the views.py put HTTP R is capital here HTTP response and we are good to go our server has, uh, server has been refreshed let's get back to the web browser and run localhost 8000 it will get error because there is no page resides for this particular URL. If you write index, it will give the uh, web page as hello world. This is our first view. So we are good to go. Uh, if we write, um, uh, if we change the URL to py uh, to one, if we refresh it, it says, oh, there is no index starts with index if we write one it will work just fine we can manage the text or the regular expression here using uh, here you know, should py if we if we don't want any regular expression we need to end just a domain or the index page we need to specify the start and the end for that view if we write index one now there is no index page index one starts with this and we have now hello world this is our first view here which maps to the particular view which is the index view itself now let's create another view to make it more clear before that we use from date time import date time object itself and defining the new view which is named as current date time 
take the request parameter and let's make an HTML variable which has HTML contents itself. Then we have the body inside that HTML and let's make it close that body. Inside that body we have uh, the time it is now percentage s percentage date time dot now then return the http response object which is the html itself get back to the urls that we buy make another url request which is uh, it should start with it should start with the um, date time regular expression we have to map that regular expression with the view we have created which is current date time then let's name it date time If we open the terminal and the browser, the uh, server has been refreshed. And if we write date time, the time has been shown on the web page. If we click reload it again, uh, we can say we can see that uh, time is changing. Yes, it's 5 24 10, it's 5 24 13. The seconds are changing. We, uh, if we make it bold time we can make it bold here using b tag closing the b tag and refresh it the time is now in bold so again each view function takes an http request object here as its first parameter which is typically named as request this request object has various attributes and methods to work on. If we draw it, we we have various request attributes and methods. And if we look at uh, our terminal, we have various cookies, files, get meta. These are the methods and attributes that we can use with the request parameter uh, inside our view application according to our needs and each view function or is responsible for returning an http response object let's make it clear uh, each view function is responsible for returning an http response object which is here so we are all good. See you in the next video lecture.